Now, wow, for this woman's story, oh, hmm, things they happen for this country. Oh, hmm. People's heart day for their back. Oh, people know they smile. Oh, people know they look face. Oh, God, now your hand I do. So, hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to this beautiful channel. If you are new here, you are highly welcome. Please remember to subscribe. Just smash that red button down there that says subscribe. Um, after that, remember to turn on your notification bell. That way, you'll be notified anytime I drop any new video. Please remember to like this video. Like this video now. Have you liked this video? Like it before you start watching. If you're turning subscribe, you're highly welcome. My people, my people. You guys are the best. You guys are my G's. Um, the OG's. Hell, my backbones. Thank you guys for always supporting this channel. Thank you guys for always watching my videos. And thank you guys for your comments, both good and bad ones. God bless all of you, okay? I pray that whatever you lay your hand that is good, that the good Lord is going to know. Prosper you this year, more money inside your bank account and your pocket. In Jesus' name, amen. Hmm. My people, my people, have you liked this video? Like it before we enter gist of today. Hmm. Like I always tell you now, like I say, this channel is, you know, about gist and review of other people's channel. This big YouTuber's channel, they review my opinion about their videos and gist. So this is one of the gist I'm bringing to you guys. Um, this lady, you are, uh, this woman you are looking at lying here outside. Um, according to news, the video went viral last week and... That has been going viral up till now. Um, this lady was deported from UK. She stayed in UK for 25 years, where she worked and you know saved a lot of money. Um, after working and saving, she will um, she gathered her money, came to Nigeria, and built a house. <laughs> so. She built a house so like other people, you know, your retirement plan, when you're working, a lot of people believe that building a house is a kind of retirement plan for them. So they will work in abroad for those that are living outside the country and uh, living abroad, they will work there and try to invest them in the property, house property here in Nigeria. So she um, had a, this house in Nigeria, in Lagos where she you know spent all her money invested all her money and you know according to her now she already has something to fall back on so she she went back to uk and before then she put a tenant inside the house so this is according to the woman's story she narrated her story by herself she put someone inside the house as a tenant you know that kind of stuff and she left to UK, so one thing led to another, and after all, oh, after 25 years of living in UK, she came back, you know, she was deported, not that she came back, she was deported, and you know that when people are being deported, it's like sudden, you know, taking back, go back to your country, by fire, by force, sudden, so she never prepared for her retirement or to come back. Um, coming back to Nigeria, she found out that her tenant has sold the house. Hey, hey! This is where uh, I lose the control. But uh, I'm getting my control to make this video because hey, hey! Now then, my This one, church my not rich for this one. My hard earned money. Not even my mother, not even my father, not even my brothers and sisters that sold the money. A stranger tenant. You know, eh, when I, I heard her story before, um, it, I was so skeptical about it. How can this happen? Where is the document to the house? How did the person, you know, lay his or her hand on the document of the house, like, to be able to sell the house? Hmm. But my people, eh, you know, in Nigeria, everything is possible. Though. There's nothing that is not possible. Hey, impossible is possible in Nigeria. Hey, especially Africa. Africa, eh? The way, the way, devil go, go take flog all the Africans that will go to hellfire. Yeah, you better repent now, <laughs> because 
Nah, eh, devil see the learn work where some African people do. Nah, level of eh, it will be hard. Level of their heart, nah. This one, eh, it tire me. You. you saw someone's house. Someone's house. So house that does not belong to you, does not belong to your mother, does not belong to your father, does not belong to your siblings. You don't know the you are not related to the owner, you just sold it because um you know that the person is living afar, the person is not around. Now, my people, that is where, not where the story ends, though. The story still uh, continues. Hey, trust Nigeria police. <laughs> okay, now, allegedly, she reported the case to Nigerian police. African police, African force. Hey, I hear you now. I know what you can do now. Uh, because I've, I've had case with them. I know the way they twisted the case with the person I had the case with. Until I brought that money, like I, I, I used my money to fight for my rights. I, the, the person was bribing, was giving the money. I was bribing as well, giving the money. Or uh, that was when they brought out justice. Yeah. So she reported the matter to the police, um, according to her story. And do you know what happened? Let me shock you guys, eh? Mm -hmm. Let me shock you guys because I'm still shocked. I don't know this woman from anywhere. It's just a story out there on um, social media. Um, I decided to show her out here, share her story for anyone that can help her. So when she reported the story, um, the case to police station, um, the tenant came up with, you know, Maybe the tenant is more influential. He knows people that knows people that knows people in this country. You must know people that know people that know people, or you must know people before you can get. Mm, I know talk of justice. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> so my people, you know, uh, this case is something that is so pathetic. Okay, um, I don't want to sound the way it's. I am feeling now about this case. That's why I'm making it look somehow fun. Mm -hmm. But mm -mm 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 -mm. this now, nah, this is being unfair on someone's property, someone's hard and money. So what happened was that after putting the case, the person that saw they had the then tenant now you know went through the backyard. You know, am I gonna be see her castle? So the person what was like she's the person. I don't know whether she or he because. The gender of that person was not indicated. So the person has money. Um, she or he has sold the house. Now she has money. Abi, uh, he or she now used the money to, you know, some part of the money to cover the case, bribe, um, dash, give, anyhow you call it. You are you mean in Nigeria, man? Mm -hmm. Bribe. So to cover the amount of police, she, he or she gave them money. The money they real, um, she realized from this woman's property, this woman's house, okay? And what these people did, eh? It was alleged that police people now took this woman, detained her, upon her, the uh, deportation upon her, um, house property upon her, um, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Somebody should, you know, console me. I feel like, you know, lay my hand on that person like her. Uh, so what happened is that they detained this lady, this woman, for three months. After that, she was released and she now became stranded. She started sleeping um, on the road, on the streets, in the streets, um, you know. So when good person, good Samaritan, now saw her on the streets, you know, she sleeps there. She she has no hope again. Fat. Huh. This is heartbreaking. So the person now, you know, was scared and now asked people around, who is this mad person? When did this mad person started um, sleeping around the uh, in the streets? Because you know the streets you live now, instead you live in, in um if you see my person, you know, if you see persons that don't used to be there before you will know. So that is how the person asked questions and then I told the person that um, the good Samaritan that this person is not a mad person, no. that she's sound, good, nice, but she look at her story. She now went um, closer to the lady and now asked her and she narrated her story. Uh, my dear, I feel like crying for this lady. So, um, essence of making this video is that um, I'm going to leave her detail. I don't know her. 
don't contact me, don't contact my email. I'm going to leave her detail. This thing happened in Keja, Lagos State, um, Nigeria, hmm, Africa, easy. So, if you want to help her, if you feel like helping her, or want me to help to contact or get in contact with her, I can help you. But anything you want to give her, give her direct. Um, I'm just making this video, you know, maybe whoever it might touch or... Oh? At least for you to learn from her story. If you have any property in Nigeria, where are your people? Inform your people, inform your siblings, your father, your brother, your sister, your mother. Let them look after the property because I believe that if her people knows about her property, this man wouldn't have, you know, set the property off without anybody knowing, okay? Again, this time, like Bifia has made everything easier, your money is secure in your bank account. If you're working in abroad and you have money, always save it in your bank account. If you come back, yeah, when you are ready to build and um, invest, invest and make sure you hand the property over to somebody you know. This thing I'm even giving uh, um, as uh, advice. That person you know can still sell the property. In fact, uh, this country don't tire me. I don't tire for this country. My people, if you don't have anything to say, please leave it down there in the comment section. Remember to like this video, okay? And share the video to go viral. And with this, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Now, wow, for this woman's story, hmm, things they happen for this country. Hmm. People's heart day for their back. Oh. People know they smile. Oh. People know they look face. Oh. God, now your hand I do.